Hey there, this is Trail Rider 570 coming at you um, with something cool. Uh, my friends at FMS, uh, I'm a little bit behind the ball, but I, I got something here that they sent me to do a product, uh, unboxing, and over the next oh, few weeks, I will do some uh, running reviews with it. Um, obviously, today is going to be just unboxing and showing it. And talking about its features so uh, we'll get started with that here in a minute there this is trail rider I just want to let everybody know out there that I am now an affiliate with FMS uh, models as well as Amazon I have an affiliate account there I have, I have a storefront in Amazon and there is a uh, code in the description of this video that you can go down to and it will <coughs> It basically gives me it, it'll give me a, a little commission for doing this thing doing these as well so <coughs> sorry about the cough but anyway uh, what we're going to be doing is we got an unboxing here I've already kind of peeked in it FMS I'm a little behind the ball so if you see these videos out there you know everybody else is doing them too what we got at this we got a blue one you can get it in red um, it, uh, let's see here on the bottom side they give you dimensions of it it's actually a 124 scale I've already had my hands on it uh, uh, it's a uh, it has a it's all metal gears uh, it's got portal axles four link um, oil filled shocks, uh, two speed transmission. Uh, it's got, let's see here, four link. It's got a front grill and bumper, luggage rack, rock lights are available as an optional extra, so you can get rock lights for it if you want. It basically, um, it's basically it's a pro series, so it has uh, everything. You would need to do shorter tires and wheels. Everybody's going to change them out. I've already uh, been looking into it. I knew it was coming. So, and uh, I, got, I even got some weights here to go on the front to weight weight it down. But anyway, we're going to open it up here. Uh, FMS is really good on their packaging, obviously. Um, and we have the box, which is really cool. I'm going to start keeping these so I can get a wall of car, car boxes, I guess. Uh, and what's nice about this thing here is, uh, let me get this closed up and out of the way. There we go. What's nice about this, if you're traveling, say you got, want to go camping, take your RV, it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And it's it's fun it's fun for per mile to me um, so you open it up right here it is show it to you uh, this is the best part right here oh it's satisfying just kidding but you got the truck this is a blue one um, the wheels are actually they're foam filled it's got oil shocks it's got planetary planetary uh, front end on it. It's got uh, plastic drive shafts, but I'm sure out there somebody's got drive shafts. It's got metal lower four links, metal steering links, uh, uh, two-speed transmission. This is a brushless car. It... Um, Let's lower this down now, a little bit here, so we can have it on the table. It comes with a quality control tag. It comes with a roll bar, a wheel wrench, a charger, and um, it's stuff like that. A license plate, uh, if you want to put plates on it. Um, so it's got a roll bar, so if you want to take the, um, take the, cap, the cap off it, we're going to take that off. Take the cap off it. 
but the trouble is you do that, it's a solid blue back, it doesn't look right. And we'll leave the cap on it for now. So I had a cap on it. Um, we've got the radio here. Nice little radio. So if you're like me, filming and recording and driving, I can do it all one hand now. So it's all one handed. So that's pretty cool. We'll keep the box. Keep that. But. So then in, in this kit, on, you know, I see some people on the earlier ones of these, and they kind of uh, should break everything out, show everything out. But it has a charger, it has the roll bar, um, clips for your shocks. But typically, like I'm into scale crawling, I like to like them soft, so that they actually working working better and stuff like that. So we're going to leave this as it is. I'm not going to. Um, change much uh, to get the body off you got clips on the bottom here we squeeze them I get it open here I had it off once today there's not the side released there's that side just like that then um, we have uh, We'll get you guys down even lower to here. See this thing? Okay, it has the brushless motor is underneath here. Um, obviously, we got a battery hidden in here. Uh, it's kind of tucked in here, right here. It is a 7.4, um, 380 mill, mill, milliamp battery. Um, it, it's a two cell. Uh, these aren't will not accommodate a 3s uh, you plug a 3s into it and they just like shut down they don't the, the the ESC doesn't like it so then the battery sits right there and you got this nifty little hole down for it goes around it claps on there then um, we'll get to the the fun, the fun features, but this radio is a um, MG44 radio, uh, which is nice is you got all your controls are now are analog, it's not push buttons. You have uh, pins here so you can program your ESC, which and then you got your reversing servo and stuff like that. To install the batteries, we just uh, get down here. And I gotta go get double A batteries. I'll be back with you. All right, Miss Pilker, triple A. But it also comes with this uh, instruction manual. Really nice instruction manual for it. So, um, sells for $199 to buy one. So, we are going to put these in this way. Then this one, these face up, up. And we go around, and this this requires AAA. It's a small little controller, but that, you know that's kind of nice. Then we're going to uh, we get this plugged in. And get her plugged in. We'll be all set. There we go. Directional. Uh, okay. Turn it on, you got a button right here, and there it's on, came on. You notice the headlights are on. Now this battery is not fully charged either, so. Man, this thing's not that heavy either. It's kind of a light truck. So, but um, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm gonna move you back here a little bit so you can see it. I'm gonna. I got this this idea in my head.
it involves three tires for now. <clears throat> set him back here. I'm gonna set a tire here. We're gonna set a tire here. And we'll set a tire here. Uh, this ESC and these is pretty cool. Um, this seems to be really quiet too. Um, we're gonna turn right this on. Oop. Turn this on. There it just beeped. There it is. Uh, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go like this so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, then we're gonna turn the, I'm gonna turn this, the steering up a little bit. I'm gonna move him over just a little bit. We'll turn the, the throttle up. Oop, that's steering. And do a rate. I'm going to turn it all the way up. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's on its own. It's quiet, too. No, that's that. that, that. I just got to turn her up just a little bit. Let's see what gear we're in. You can see it's just doing it all on its own. And this is in low gear. That amazing and this battery has not been charged you can see over here I'll give you a better view of it we'll get her back here and let her let her do her thing here let me do this thing here if you can see it now I'm not even I just got the 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 throttle trim turned up a little bit on it, but you can see, look at this thing, how quiet it is too. I'll shut my mouth so you can hear it. And this is with stock tires and wheels. that crazy I never seen a 124 scale that would do stuff like this look at the, the articulation too and like I say, it does have oil shocks, all metal gears, metal gears in transmission, metal gears in the portal, metal, the differential is metal, no plastic on it. Is that crazy? This thing is so cool. I saw this demo on YouTube, you know, like I say, I got it sent to me, but the videos are out. Then we just turn her down. But, yeah, this is the FMF FC FCX 24 K5 Blazer Pro series. Um, I am going to 
Yet today, I gotta go, I'm gonna pull the battery out of it and charge it, because unfortunately I ordered an extra battery, but it's not gonna be here till next week sometime. So um, I'm gonna get battery charged up and take it out, and um, I'll, I'll, I'll do some videos with it um, at my favorite rock area, and we'll go from there. So we'll get back with you in a few.
So in conclusion guys, it's a pretty fun truck. It, the tires are lacking, which we all know. I got tires, different tires coming for it and wheels. Uh, it needs weight. Uh, it likes to lay there. Um, for its size, it's it's all it's okay for speed. I don't think you'd want to go any faster with it. And uh, but I just tried my little uh, climbing course here. It's got a lot of sand on it, so obviously not going to work. But in conclusion, guys, uh, so far it's been a pretty good truck. So I'll leave it at that, and we'll end the video here. And as always, this is Trail Rider 570 saying goodbye and God bless, and I'll see you in the next one.